A NATO-sponsored international conference focused on improving information exchange in the modern security environment is taking place in Zagreb. Participants are discussing security threat challenges within the transatlantic community, specifically issues concerning Ukraine and the so-called Islamic State. We don't just enjoy the privileges. We also have obligations towards these memberships, towards our allies. And we are therefore driven by a desire and determination to protect these values as much as our own territory and our own people. Croatia's own security and intelligence agency has published a report assessing the security situation in Croatia as favorable and stable with a low terrorist threat. However, the report cites a potential risk posed by the work of Islamist terrorist organizations. There are six Croatian citizens currently on the territory of the so-called Islamic State. Most of them have never lived in Croatia, but they do have dual citizenship. The report also mentions youths with a tendency to sympathize with and consider joining Islamist groups in Syria. It is still unclear if Croatia will have to take in 747 refugees from Eritrea and Syria, who are among the 40,000 migrants who entered Europe through Italy and Greece. EU interior ministers will be addressing the issue at a meeting in Luxembourg. Many member states have already expressed concern over the European Commission's proposal to distribute the migrants among the countries of the bloc. The Commission's proposal is based on a quota system which takes into account each member state's population, GDP, unemployment rate and standard of living. Ivan Štica, the highest mountain in northwestern Croatia, hosted the Croatian Downhill Championships this past weekend. Around a hundred of the fastest mountain bikers in the country thundered down one of the most beautiful and difficult courses in Europe, reaching speeds of above 60 kilometers per hour. In sports, Anja Konjuk has reached her first WTA final, a career best for the young Croatian. In Nottingham, she defeated American Alison Riske 6-4, 6-3 in the semis. She'll have to get past Romanian Monica Niculescu for the title. Croatia's handball squad had qualified for the 2016 European Championship, winning their group with five victories and only one defeat. Croatia beat Turkey in the final game of group play 40-26 on Sunday. Meanwhile, Croatia's women's team failed to qualify for the World Championships later this year in Denmark, losing a return qualification game against Sweden 27-21. Today's forecast calls for at least partly sunny skies for most of the country, but there will be scattered rain and a chance of thunder showers, especially on the north and central sections of the coast and in the mountains and the northwest. On the coast, there will be moderate southwesterly and westerly winds, a northwesterly on the open seas. The day's highs will be between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius. Unstable weather with occasional showers is expected over the next two days in the interior. The chance of rain is higher in the mountains. Temperatures will begin to cool on Tuesday and dip further on Wednesday as a moderate to high northeasterly picks up. Slavonia can expect northwesterly winds and even cooler temperatures. The weather will improve on Thursday and the days will again be a bit warmer. Rain and thunder showers are expected on the coast on Tuesday and Wednesday starting in the north tomorrow and spreading to Dalmatia the following day. There will be a high northeasterly wind on Wednesday bringing cooler temperatures also starting in the north and spreading down the coast by the end of the day. Still windy but more stable weather is forecast for Thursday. <laughs>